Hey guys, how are y'all doing today? My name is Franchise Fanatic and welcome back to the channel. And today for you guys is an Assassin's Creed video. Now, first and foremost, before we get started, I want to tell you guys uh, that I am sick or that I am at least, you know, getting sick. I'm not as sick as I was before. I just, you know, no COVID crap, you know, it was just normal cold. I had a stuffy nose, uh, you know, a little bit of a cough, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, nothing too crazy, you know, I mean, hell, if it was COVID, it wasn't, you know, I mean, that's just, that's a cold too, but whatever. But basically, it was, it was just a cold. And uh, I'm getting over it. So if I do sound a bit weird, again, I'm not, like, dying. So, you know, I'm sure none of you think I'm dying. But, uh, you know, it should be fine. But I just wanted to mention that. Um, the, the, you know, the past videos you've been seeing of, like, Lego Star Wars, the Skywalker Saga, those I actually filmed before I got sick. But whatever. Today we're talking about Assassin's Creed. So, as you guys know, I'm a huge fan of Assassin's Creed, right? I played all the games, at least most of them. Um, I love the movie, the 2016 movie. So, you know, I... I I do like the franchise. In fact, I love it. I, I made a few tributes. I'm going to have my new official Assassin's Creed tribute, the ultimate one, down in the description below. And I'm probably the pinned comment. I don't know. Make sure to check it out. But yeah, Assassin's Creed is a big part of my gaming life. I love it. It's freaking amazing. It's probably my top three. It probably go like Lego games, maybe COD, and then like for Assassin's Creed. I don't know. But, uh, you know, I, I love it to death. And I recently got the Assassin's Creed Ezio Collection on Xbox One. I've actually had it for a while, but I never actually played it, and uh, it's got like some Australian, I think I got it from a, somewhere, not in America, I don't know where I got it, but I got it online. But uh, it's got, of course, Assassin's Creed 2, Brotherhood, and uh, Revelations, and uh, I actually just started playing Assassin's Creed 2 for the first time. Really freaking good. I think Ezio Auditore de Frienze or whatever. Um, you know, I, 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 he's not my favorite protagonist so far. I'm only on, I mean, like an hour and a half into the second game. But, you know, he's cool. It's uh, the guy from Dying Light, Sonic the Hedgehog. You know, so all I hear when it's, I'm Ezio I hear, hey guys, Sonic the Hedgehog. You know, I just, or whatever. But, you know, upon replaying, or upon playing Assassin's Creed 2 for the first time, I noticed that in the Ezio collection, you get two little short movies. You get, what is it, uh... Assassin's Creed Lineage and Assassin's Creed Embers. Now, at the time of the actual canon timeline, it goes Lineage, 2, Brotherhood, Revelations, and then Embers. Embers is an animated short, and Lineage is a live-action short. And I've never seen any of them. So I started watching Lineage, and I was like, oh, you know, it's kind of cool. I was like, holy crap, this is freaking awesome. And then my controller started dying, so I, I, I moved the joystick, and the damn thing shut off. I went, Pah! back to the main menu. So I'm like, ah! You know, what do I do? And then I realized I had a little bit of a, a little smarty moment, you know. And I don't have any of those, but when I do, they're pretty good. I have the Assassin's Creed movie, you know, with uh, Michael Fassbender. Good movie. You know, I, I, don't, I don't hate it. I think it's pretty good, actually. Um, on DVD, i got to get it on Blu-ray. But then I noticed I bought an Assassin's Creed Blu-ray about a year and a half to two years ago for Christmas. I got it as Christmas. Day. And it was this, Assassin's Creed Lineage. So I'm like, holy crap, is this the same thing? You know, because it says... The movie prequel to the blockbuster video game franchise. When I bought this for like five bucks, or I got it for Christmas. When I got it for probably five bucks, I looked at it, I was like, all right, you know, this is kind of cool. Nothing too crazy. You know, it's just a little disc. It's got a really cool back cover. You know, it's two and a half hours. So I, I was like, all right, it's cool. You know, whatever. I never thought it was official canon. And then I saw Lineage was on, you know, the Ezio collection. I was like, oh, shoot, I have that. You know what I mean? So I plopped it in today and I watched the whole thing. And holy crap, I was freaking blown away. This is awesome. Again, I enjoy the Assassin's Creed 2016 movie. I do. I don't hate it. But watching this, by the way, it's not two and a half hours. It's like a freaking half an hour. All this other stuff is just bonus features, whatever. But, uh, you know, for a half hour, you know, this this is a great, great film. And again, if you have the Ezio collection, you have it in this. It's in this already. I happen to just buy it before I got the collection. But the Ezio storyline is pretty cool and seeing that you know we're playing as Ezio's father Giovanni in this you know during the time of him being an assassin pretty freaking cool you know but honestly like I said I was truly blown away by this little form again it's only like 36 37 minutes you know nothing too crazy but it works and it's really really fun I mean it's you know look it, it's it's not perfect you know there's a few funny shots the the action scenes are good uh, I'd almost, I'd almost argue that everything in this film is better than the Assassin's Creed movie made by Fox, now owned by Disney. Um, I don't know why that is. We're a, you know, multi-billion dollar industry, I guess, can rival another multi-billion dollar industry. I don't know if there were billionaires at the time of this film came out, because this is for Assassin's Creed 2. We're on freaking Valhalla. Mirage is coming out, so we have, like, Assassin's Creed 900 at this point. But this movie, it really is groundbreaking for me. Again, it's a hundred times better than the, than the 2016 film. And again, I don't hate that film. But this one is very, very good, you know, and just from the action scenes alone of seeing Giovanni as an assassin, you know, wearing Ezio's robes that you see in Assassin's Creed 2 and, you know, probably beyond, um, it is cool, you know, the action's great. Now, is it a bit, you know, quick-timey, but what I mean by that is that it's like, cut shot, cut shot, cut shot, it's like the movie. 
the 2016 movie. You know what I mean? That's what it is. Um, it's not as bad, but there are moments in this where I'm like, this action is sick. This is really cool stuff. And then I'm watching, I'm like, oh, that wasn't too good. Or, oh, that was kind of, you know, it, it almost felt like they were, you know, I guess uh, hiding but with, do, with doing a lot of quick cuts, you know, like, uh, you know, John Wick movies, you know, Kingsman, stuff like that. Those films have a lot of one-shot looking action scenes where you can kind of tell what's going on. This is, again, it's very quick cutty. It's not inherently a bad thing to have quick cuts for an action scene, but they did it almost every time. There is an action scene almost exclusively in slow-mo, and I do think they kind of use slow motion a bit too much. So, you know, there are flaws, but overall, I think this is a better looking Assassin's Creed film than the 2016 one. And again, I'm not going to keep comparing it to that, but it, it is a very good looking movie. The for I don't know when this came out, 2011, something like that? 2009, about the same time as Assassin's Creed 2. Um, it looks freaking great. I mean, truly. I mean, the, the, the green screen, you know, there's some shots where you can tell it's green screen, but there's a lot of good looking CGI in this little short film. You know, I mean, the action scenes are great and all that, but I mean, the CGI, it looks phenomenal. And again, there's one or two moments where I'm like, ah, that was a bit wonky, but again, you know, it's an older movie, uh, short film, whatever. And it looks genuinely good. Like, you know, when, when Giovanni's on a freaking rooftop in Rome or whatever, wherever he's at, in France, Italy, it looks good. It looks like he's actually on a rooftop climbing a building. You know, they don't resort to that horrible CGI stunt guy in, like, Captain America Civil War, where it's like a, a, a weird-looking plastic blob flopping around, you know, in the, in the distance. It looks legit. And, uh, you know, there are a few moments where, like I said, the CGI was a bit weird, but I think it looked really good. Now, I think the best thing about this, though, besides the writing, which is pretty good, the action scenes are, are pretty good, the story is all right, you know, it's kind of like a conspiracy thing with Giovanni kind of, um, you know, taking over, uh, I guess, uh, you know, trying to get the Templars, the bad guys and all that. And, of course, this this movie literally ends with, you know, play the game, you know, he literally says that. It's like, all right, but the story is in your hands. Freaking play Assassin's Creed 2, all right, for God's sake. And uh, thankfully I have it, so I was able to jump right into that. But, you know, the best thing about this short film, by far, there's two things. One is that it has a very unique aesthetic and that it doesn't look live action and it also doesn't look animated because it is, all, it's a live action film. And, you know, the CGI, but, you know, it's a live action thing. And when I first started watching it, I was like, I adjust on my glasses. I'm like, holy shit, like... <laughs> This, you know those, like, Assassin's Creed uh, CGI trailers that play, you know, my tribute had it, where it looks, uh, you know, not animated, but it also doesn't, it looks like the Tintin movie, you know, something like that. It looks kind of motion capture, really good like that. Um, you know, some of them are a little wonky, but, you know, if you look at Assassin's Creed Valhalla, for instance, or Origins, those CGI trailers look borderline real photo real at times. And, you know, for a video game cutscene, it looks freaking awesome. Uh, and this, it's like, I'm watching, I'm like, oh, hang on. I'm doing a double take. I'm cleaning my glasses. You know, I didn't drink any beer today. I'm like, w what's going on? It, it, maybe it's just me. But it genuinely looks like they were trying to go for that CGI aesthetic look because it looked like the cloth. You know, the cloth or the, the robes or the buildings. You know, it looks like a more modern take on like a video game cutscene. You know, I mean, it, it's, we it's weird. It doesn't look animated, but it also doesn't look live action. It looks kind of like a mix of both. And I don't know how to explain it any other way. It looks like that. It's really effing weird. Maybe I'm weird. I don't know. But again, there were a lot of shots where I'm like, oh, again, when I first started watching it, I was like, wow, these are really good graphics. You know, this is good. And then I'm like, oh, wait, it's live action. But again, it has that aesthetic where it looks like a video game cutscene, but just stupidly well rendered to the fact where I'm like, wow, this looks, you know, le legitimate. And it is. It, like I said, it is a live action film. But it, it gives that appearance as kind of a mix between the two. Maybe that's just me. Maybe that's the way they shot it. I don't know. But it, it does, you know, obviously it's not the, the, the you know, biggest budget in the world. It's an Assassin's Creed mini-movie uh, back in the time when AC was kind of still new. So it's not a multi-billion dollar, you know, thing like, like the 2016 film where obviously that film had a bigger budget. Obviously. But this still looks good looks really good. The second thing is that they actually got the characters to look like how they look like in the game. I was playing the game and I'm like, holy crap, that guy looks like that guy. Like, they nailed it. You know, his freaking face and his hat and his little, you know, his little unitard, his uniform. Uh, Devin Bostick, who plays uh, Roderick in the Diary of a Wimpy Kid live action films. I was like, holy crap, they got Roderick in here. You know what I mean? It's crazy. And, uh, you know, I think he was playing Ezio, but, you know, he doesn't really do much. It's about his father, Giovanni, but it was cool. You know, so it really is, it's uncanny to watch this film see people, and then play Assassin's Creed 2, the game. And again, you know, you're comparing a live-action film to 2009 graphics. And, you know, this is the remastered version, but, you know, it's still not up to par as Valhalla or Origins Odyssey, whatever. But um, it does look good. 
And it, it kind of is weird. I'm looking at it, I'm like, wow, they really did a really effing good job of making the, the pixely video game guy look like the real actor. And I don't know if they're the same people, if the guys voiced them in the games, I don't know. But I do know they got a good, they did a good job of making them look authentic. And the world being authentic, I mean, it's just, it, it blew my mind. I mean, this is a, a, a ten times better film than Assassin's Creed 2016. And again, I'm not throwing shade on that film. I'm one of the genuine YouTubers that actually likes the movie. I, I'm not going to shit on that film. I like it. But this film, Lineage, it, it you know, I've, like I said, if I could pick it up, I've had it for like two years on my shelf. It was just sitting here like this one. And I looked at it, I'm like, Lineage? Huh. And I put it in, I'm like, oh shit, that's the thing and the thing. And it was very good. I really enjoyed it. So if I were to give Assassin's Creed Lineage an overall score, again, my over, overall negatives, uh, the slow-mo action scene is good, but I think it's it wears off its aesthetic. Uh, you know, it's, it's appeal, I guess, because there's a scene where this guy's running after he assassinates the Duke. And, you know, it's all slow motion, and it's dramatic, it's, it's intense, it's tense, it's cool. And he's like, <gasps> he's making this weird-ass face, and I'm like, okay, you know what I mean? And then there's, like, another scene where this, uh, you know, Giovanni's fighting some guys in an alley in the very beginning. It's dark, and one of the guys is like, you know, as the blade, like, misses his throat. He just, there's certain shots where it looks kind of walking, they're making some weird-ass faces. There's a guy in the background, one of the popes or priests, he just kind of stands there like, he just standing there with his teeth out. I guess that's just how he looks, but it was kind of funny. It's a very serious moment. There's a guy getting tortured, and they're talking about assassinating this guy's like, mater buck teeth. I don't know. Uh, I'm not making fun of that guy. It just looked kind of funny. It kind of took me out of the experience. Uh, and, you know, the next shot, he didn't have the buck teeth close his mouth. But, I don't know. I just had to point it out. It kind of made me laugh. And then, you know, like I said, there's some CGI moments that take you out of it. But, overall, this is a very good movie. Again, for being 36 to 37 minutes, freaking blew my mind. I'm like, wow, this is better than the movie that we got in 2016. And again, billion of time, I don't hate that film, but it is funny to see that, you know, this this little mini movie, you know, it's funny because there's a lot of different Assassin's Creed people out there, right? There's people that love the originals, you know, like, like these kind. Then you love the more, you know, three, four, Black Flag, Rogue, Unity, Syndicate, and then you love the people that, you know, love RPG, Origins, Odyssey, Valhalla. I love them all. I don't think, you know, as a fan, you should hate any of them. I mean, there's some you can dislike, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of Unity's story, but I, I'm not going to, oh my god, it sucks, you know what I mean? Like, if you, if you like Assassin's Creed, you should genuinely, you're generally like all of it. You know, you don't have to love everything about it, but I think people online are like, the RPGs are horrible, they're not Assassin's Creed. It's like, shut up, you know what I mean? Go touch some grass or snort some Kool-Aid, whatever you do for fun, I don't know. It, just don't make fun of this franchise, you know what I mean? You're not a fan. I genuinely love all of them. And again, I have problems with some of them, but seeing that this film, you know, this is back in a time when Assassin's Creed was not the biggest property in the world, or one of the biggest gaming properties in the world. So the fact that they put this much time and effort into it, it shows. And in 2022, you know, there's a few, you know, cracks with the, with the you know, seams kind of, the tape's kind of peeling off, so to speak. The band-aids are peeling, but it looks really effing good for the most part, and I'm very glad I watched it. Again, I've had it in my cabinet for like two hours, or two days. Two days. Two years. Not, uh, I've had it in my cabinet for two hours. Two years. And uh, I finally watched it. And the fact that I actually, you know, did the smart thing and watched this around the same time. I'm, I'm Again, I'm like an hour and a half into Assassin's Creed 2. So it is really cool to see the storylines coinciding and, you know, colliding in really cool ways. And it looks good. It's fun. It's action-packed. And it's pretty cool. And again, it's actually better than the movie. Um, I didn't think I'd say that, you know, a 30-minute short better than a two-hour and 15, 20-minute long film. But I guess, I don't know, they took their time better. I don't know what to tell you. Now, Assassin's Creed is getting more games. You know, we got Mirage, we got, you know, Hex, we got freaking uh, the Jade, the, we got the Red, whatever it is, the uh, Shinobi one. And then we also have Assassin's Creed coming over to Netflix. I don't have Netflix, so that's going to be a bummer. But we are getting an Assassin's Creed, I believe, a show or a movie, something like that. Uh, the Assassin's Creed movie in 2016 is canon. This is as well. So if you haven't seen it, go check it out. It's about, like I said, it's about 30, 40 minutes. You could actually just YouTube it. I really want you to buy it or, you know, buy the game. You know, buy this for like five bucks. Buy this for like 20. It's a great effing game. Great deal. Or, you know, if you're cheap, just go on YouTube and buy, you know, watch the damn thing for free. It's like 30 minutes. You know, it is worth your time, though, if you really do want to see it. If you're a big Assassin's Creed fan, if you haven't seen it, I don't know what I was doing for so many years. But uh, I enjoyed it. And again, all these negatives... Kind of, uh, I guess, taking it into account, I'm probably going to give Assassin's Creed Lineage probably an A-. minus. Again, it's nothing uh, too insane, but, you know, there are some negatives here. But for the most part, it really does uh, deliver, and especially in 2022, holds up pretty well. Thank you, guys, and we'll see you in the next video.